You know, I was thinking about my last video in response to Woody Clendenin's uh, threats against me on the Red, White, and Blueprint podcast and um, his request for me to apologize to him and his family. And, you know, my initial thought about that was, hell no, I'm not going to apologize to this guy for anything. Why would I ever do that? But then I thought about it some more, took a little time, and I decided that I am going to apologize to you, Woody. Woody Clendenin, I'm sorry. I'm sorry that your family has you to look up to. I'm sorry that your kid has a shit example of how an adult should act. I'm sorry that you don't understand racism at all. I'm sorry that time has forgotten your outdated ideals. I'm sorry that you can look at a symbol of hate like the Confederate flag and actually be proud of it. I'm sorry that your parents never put the proper care into you so that you could feel love and empathy for others. I'm sorry that you think being tough outweighs being smart. I'm sorry that people have to live in a community that you've touted yourself a leader of. I'm sorry that barber school isn't more picky about their selections of who they choose to license. I'm sorry that you blew countless hours and dollars supporting an overall failed movement. I'm sorry that you don't have your own deserted and inescapable island. I am so, so sorry, Woody, that the world changing scares the shit out of you. I'm sorry that you didn't attend the insurrection on January 6th and then get thrown into prison for treason. I'm sorry that you have an absolutely debilitating fear of the LGBTQ community. I'm sorry that the Ku Klux Klan doesn't also issue a nightlight with their bedsheets. I'm sorry that you took a federal PPP loan from the government for the pandemic without ever shutting down your business. I'm sorry that you married someone who isn't willing to stand up to your bigoted bullshit but instead parrot it herself. I'm sorry that your white privilege and entitlement has led you to a point where you believe it's actually okay to make physical threats of political violence towards someone publicly and have absolutely no consequences. I'm sorry that years after you're long gone, that I'll still be here on this earth talking shit, probably about you. And finally, I'm sorry that your pants aren't made of cactus thorns. One thing I'm not sorry about is that you didn't get vaccinated. There's my apology. <laughs>